Right guys, this is Initial D the Arcade Season 2. Um, this is, I think it's either the latest one or the one before. Um, it hasn't been properly cracked, but it does work. So I'll show you what you need to do. And it's a little bit on the fiddly side, but it, you know, it does work. So, get with that. So first thing you need to do, when you've extracted it and put it into your location, open up the folder and go into I need to be done first. See this game uses a special driver and on Windows 11 it won't let you use it properly. But the first thing you have to do, we have to move this into the system 32 folder. So if you open up your PC into your C drive and you have to go down to your Windows folder then you got to go to system 32 I've just gone past it and I there if you can't see any of these folders or you can't get to it if you go to the start type in folder options and it will come up with file explorer options click on that one and in the view tab in the middle you have show hidden files folders and drives you just click apply then ok so now you open up your system 32 folder go to drivers And you have to drag this one straight across. I've already done mine because I was testing it earlier, so I don't need to do it. But yours won't have this one. So then, the second part we have to do now you have to open up your command prompt. So go to your taskbar to start, type in CMD, and you want to right click run as administrator. So then we go to readme file and you want to copy all this line. I don't know why it does this on Windows 11. Sometimes that's iffy fits. So you go to copy and you just paste it in here and then click enter. I've already done it so I don't need to. So when it's done it will say success here. So then you can just close your command prompt. Then we have to turn off the driver protection. You know, it's entirely up to you if you want to do this, because if you turn off your driver protection, if you do get a virus, it could spread a bit quicker. So go to taskbar, type in device security, it's just here. Click on that one and here you have core isolation so you click on core isolation details memory, memory integrity is off so this is because if you do it and you try and run the game with this on it will say this driver is not allowed so just make sure that's off So once that's done, reboot your PC. Don't use start.bat. Use. <laughs> that's the one we have to use. I just. Save it in case. So once you've rebooted your computer, this is never cock up the bloke done. The keys are just, <laughs> um, I think it's in the readme file, the keys actually. No, so it's in here. 
WAXD. I think somehow he totally screwed that one up. <laughs> it's supposed to be an S, I think. Right, then, because it's keyboards, I've used anti-micro. It's conversion software to convert from keys to gamepad. So I'm just going to my gamepad on. Yeah. So if you click on anti micro, this tells you, you know, X. <laughs> so it's all set up for you. You don't have to press any of the starts or anything. The start and the back on here is for your um, test menu, but you don't need to use that. So make sure that's on. And we can start the game. And it will go to your desktop resolution. Come on, Emma.
キナで行われた交流戦そこに86に乗った一人の青年が現れる次回電光石火の余韻